Hi. So um, I'm Ananda, and I'm the media contact for the Smith Center for the Arts. And I'm here today speaking with Ben Morrison, the lead guitarist and vocalist from the Brothers Comatose, um, who will be joining us here in Geneva for a show at the Smith Opera House on Thursday, June 30th at 8 p.m. Thank you for joining Hello. me. Hi, Ben. How are you today? <laughs> I'm doing well. Um, yeah, uh, just kind of getting started over here. I'm, I'm three hours behind you guys. Oh, thank you for joining me. Um, I hope I didn't get you up too early. Oh, no, I have a baby. So uh, I've been up for a while. <laughs> oh, you have a baby. You, you don't sleep. There's no such thing as comatose for you. Oh, no, I know. Yeah. Oh, it's you, crazy. But maybe you could yeah. use a little bit of comatose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I guess um, I know that it's your first time touring in upstate New York. So I'd love to just introduce local listeners to you. Um, I was hoping you could maybe say a little bit about uh, your band and what kind of sound and style of music you play with the Brothers Comatose. Oh, yeah, great. Um, yeah, we've never been up that far up into New York before, which so this is pretty exciting for us. We've always kind of like dipped close, but um, but never that far north. Um, so we are uh, a string band. We, we kind of fancy ourselves like a rock and roll string band, if that makes any sense. Um, uh, not really traditional bluegrass, but um, but we try to throw some some rock and roll energy and uh, into our music. So um, so I guess that's kind of what you get with us. But we throw on some harmonies and and uh, we we work on our songs a lot. So we kind of focus on our songwriting, and uh, that's the brothers comatose in a nutshell. Right. So are you guys actually brothers? Um, two of us are my, myself and the banjo player who are the, we're the main singers in the band. We are the brothers of the brothers comatose. Did it start out just the two of you and then kind of expand from there? It did. Um, it kind of started out with us in, in living rooms. Um, our parents are musicians and, um, used to have music parties every so often. And then one day somebody left a banjo behind. And Alex, my brother, picked it up and kind of started playing. You know, we we were all into like Rolling Stones and Led Zeppelin and stuff. So we just kind of started. He's like, how do I play a Rolling Stones song on the banjo? And then we kind of started that way. Uh, and then along the way, picked up some good friends and um, who play music, musical instruments. And and uh, and here we are many years later. Yeah. How many years have you all been together now? It's kind of hard to find, you know, the actual start date of the Brothers Comatose because, you know, we started oh, playing manic. music. Oh, <laughs> well, we started playing so long ago, like in in our living rooms. But, um, but with, I, I think we kind we kind of consider 2008 to be our like actual start. Um, so we're almost 14 years in. Wow, that's yeah. a small amount of time. Mm -hmm. playing together you guys must have a pretty good rapport going now I was going to ask you if it's weird to you know be in a, a professional setting with uh, family members but it sounds like if it's 14 years strong it must work out dynamic wise oh it's great I mean you know we used to fight when we were younger but then as soon as band world came along uh, it was like something we could agree on and an outlet <laughs> Yeah, totally. And so we, we get along great. And uh, the band is, um, the band is feels really good right now. It's, it's, you know, after post pandemic, we're starting to get back into shows, we've been making a ton of videos and um, kind of staying busy and staying focused on music. It's been really nice. Yeah, speaking of videos, I wanted to ask you, I saw um, the really lovely cover that you folks did of Neil Young's Harvest Moon. What was the reasoning behind that cover and song release? Oh, um, well, we've kind of been, uh, we started this video project called Ear Snacks, um, I think just over a year ago. It's been about a year now. Um, and the whole idea of it was like, we couldn't go and play shows um, because of the pandemic, obviously. And we're like, how do we keep doing this? How do we stay busy and like, stay focused on the music and 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 not get into your you know head too much while you're stuck at home and 
So we just kind of figured we'd get together once a month, uh, all of us, because some of our band members are, are pretty spread out. You know, three of us are located in San Francisco Bay Area, one in Mexico and one in L.A. So uh, we kind of have to plan ahead. So we would get together. We'd like take a COVID test and um, and then just make a bunch of videos. And and part that kind of developed into this whole collaboration thing where we would try to get together with local uh artists or friends coming through town and and one of those people was uh our friend aj lee who she's a she's a, an amazing singer and mandolin player and um she lives in the bay area also and i don't know we just i just kind of reached out to her i didn't know her very well at the time and um was like hey you want to get together come over play some songs and we can make a couple videos and um I had seen them do a cover of Harvest Moon, her band. And I'm like, oh, I would love to sing some harmonies on on this song. And uh, I've always been a big Neil Young fan. Uh, we all have. And and so, yeah, we kind of, she came <laughs> over and we started uh, singing harmonies. And it was like, oh my God, that feels so good. Like the blend is so good. So um, we made a video of it and it's it's been our most popular video to date. So it's, it's kind of cool to see it take off like that. Yeah, Harvest Moon is maybe one of the most beautiful songs ever written. So it's lovely right. to did a cover. And I especially am grateful because I'm always looking for uh, lady vocal covers of songs traditionally sung by men because it's just always really, I'm always singing along. And so it's nice to have a, a version <laughs> that sounds closer to what I sound like. And yeah, I remember totally. remember when I was in college, uh, there was, we used to do karaoke night and I remember there was this girl who was very, very otherwise shy, but she would get up on stage once a week and sing just beautiful covers of songs and otherwise like never heard a peep out of her. She was just a completely shy kind of recluse who would hang out in her room, but once a week she would come and just sing these beautiful covers of songs at karaoke night and then kind of just mouse her way off the stage. And we loved her and she did a cover of Harvest Moon with some really lovely harmonies like with herself she she somehow like brought her own loop pedal or something but it was oh cool one of those beautiful things i'd ever heard it's it lives in my head to this day and i can never listen to it again but i really liked the version that you guys did because it was it had similarities to that version that i will never again hear from random girl who did <laughs> open mic night <laughs> I mean, that's some next level karaoke stuff to bring your own loop pedal to karaoke night. Yeah, and then, she, um... <laughs> she didn't want the karaoke machine. Like she was on her own. She was so good. She did Love on Rose. She was amazing. I wish I could wow. remember her name, but I remember she was a freshman and we were seniors and we, we like rooted for her. <laughs> we that were... is awful. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, such a great song. So great to hear your version of it. I guess... Neil Young, obviously a solid influence for you folks. Do you have any other, like for people who've never heard of you before, but are bluegrass lovers, like who are your top, top three influences? Oh my God. Uh, that I know, is... Not to put you on the spot. Sorry. No, that's a great question though. Um, I mean, it's funny because we all have such different influences in the band. Um, so if you ask any of us, it's going to be, vastly different but a few that we agree on are uh, it, uh we listen to like a lot of classic rock so uh rolling stones and led zeppelin are definitely up there and probably bob dylan too just the songwriting um is amazing and so influential um so that's like the easy top three i could probably think about it more and and get you a little more diverse of an answer <laughs> later on but no um that's, that's probably my top three if a you ask me solid right. three i mean you can't go wrong with with those uh what do you feel like is what like your sound who do you sound like are you most similar to if you could think of another band out there for our listeners oh, who've never heard of you that's a good question um you know I, that's such a hard thing to ask somebody too like i feel yeah uh, i'm really keeping you on your toes this morning i know yeah yeah i mean each band is probably like, oh, we sound totally different than anybody else that's ever come before us. But, um, you know, we have a, a, uh, obviously being a, a string band, like bluegrass-ish string band, we have uh, similarities to um, 
bands like Trample by Turtles, uh, the Avid Brothers, and Old Crow Medicine Show, I would say, are some. Um, uh, like if you put on Spotify, uh, you you might hear some of their songs. Um, so yeah, I, I I'd put us in the same kind of camp as as some of those bands. Okay, I just wanted to kind of get some idea out there for our local listeners who might be interested in coming to your show. Um, and you're coming end of June, right? That's right. Are you looking forward to it? Oh, I can't wait. I, I just, I need that, that East Coast humidity in my life. I love it so much. Oh yeah, get your hair all curly. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to jump in a waterfall while you're here. Oh my God. Can you show us where some waterfalls are? I can absolutely show you that. If you come about an hour, oh Lord, I don't know my, um, my cardinal directions very well, but if you, about an hour away, come to where I, I live. I live in Ithaca, New York, and okay. we are um, known for our waterfalls. Uh, we are gorgeous. So, okay. Cool. Well, we are coming from Woodbridge, New Jersey the day before. So I don't know if we drive through Ithaca or not. My geography of the Northeast is awful but um. shockingly mine as well despite having been born and bred <laughs> here um are you are you on a full-length tour then or is it just kind of one-off shows for the summer no that's uh we we try to keep our our tours a little bit shorter these days just because a few of us have kids and uh it makes it a little bit easier but that's uh i think about two ish weeks um so that's probably one of our longer tours and, you know, because we're going to be out on the East Coast and we're going to be down in the South and stuff, too. So we've got a lot of miles to cover. Uh, but we figured if we're going to be out there, we might as well hang out there for a little while. It's a good place to hang out. There's nothing like an upstate New York summer, especially in the Finger Lakes. So beautiful. Yes. Here. We'll have to do some wine touring. Oh, OK. Although you're from California, so <laughs> <laughs> maybe less impressive. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't really honestly... <laughs> I do like wine, but I have, and I've worked in a bunch of restaurants and I should know more about wine, but, um, I just, I, I don't. And, um, I'm more of a beer drinker, but I do enjoy Well, we got wine. that as well. Hey, all right. Oh, I'm down. <laughs> um, upstate New York certainly has its fair share of, of uh, breweries and the like, uh, Great. Know, certainly, uh, as much as any other Finger Lake town. Well, all right, water, waterfalls and beer. You're speaking my language right now. Yeah, exactly. You're going to have a good time, a nice little vacation where you get to play lots of shows. Yeah. Um, are you looking forward to that? Are you coming in a bus? Or are you coming in cars, tour wise? What will your no? We, we have a we have a sprinter van, um, and it's it's a tight squeeze. There are eight of us traveling together because we have three crew people. But um, and I think we're going to have our sprinter van out on the East coast. So we'll be rolling in that. So that'll be fun. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a nice way to travel. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we look forward to seeing you. I know your show is June 30th. It's a Thursday at eight, um, which will be in the historic Smith opera house in Geneva. And if listeners are interested, they can find tickets and more information uh, at the smith.org. We'll see you in June. Thanks for talking with me. Hey, my pleasure. I look forward to it. Yeah, we'll see you soon. All right, thanks.